Okay, uh, today I want to talk to you about Noodler's fountain pens. Uh, Noodler's, I believe, was originally a manufacturer of ink, and then they started making fountain pens, which I think are some of the best for artists. Um, this is the very first fountain pen that I bought. Uh, this is a Noodler's Ahab, I believe. Um, what makes them really good for artists? Well, first of all, they're relatively cheap. I think this one was maybe around $30, possibly. They're very sturdy. They're really hard to break. Um, Let's take a look at this one. Another thing is, uh, all the pens have really nice ink capacity. So instead of using a cartridge, this is a piston filler. And this one actually comes out. It's a piston filler converter. So you can do a number of things. You can use the converter. Uh, you can use little cartridges that are proprietary that are refillable. Or you can do something called eye dropping, where I can take out this converter and fill the entire reservoir back here with ink, which gives me a huge ink capacity. So it's very versatile in that respect. The other thing is that for the price, this is one of the few pens that offers a flexible nib. So I can get a lot of line variation by pressing down. I can go from thin to relatively thick. Most fountain pens today have stiff nibs. So this is a Twisby Eco. It's one of my favorite pens. I really like it for certain things. But it's stiff. So you might be able to get a little bit of line variation out of it, but mostly not. And then most flexible pens are usually a lot more expensive. So this is a Pilot 912 with an FA nib. Um, it's an expensive pen. It's really, really nice. But much more expensive than the Noodler's Ahab. Um, you can also get into vintage. Uh, we'll talk about flexibility, flex pens in maybe another episode. Um, <clears throat> so, the other advantage of these nibs is that the nib can come out really easily and can be switched out for any number six nib. Uh, one really good option is to buy a nib from a company called Fountain Pen Revolution. And they sell flexible nibs that come from India and I particularly like their number six extra flex nib. Uh, it's approximately $17. I'll, send, I'll put a link down for uh, Fountain Pen Revolution. But you can see that, if I can get it started, here we go. You can tease out considerably more flex using this nib. So the Noodler's nibs really aren't bad. Uh, that said, all of my Ahabs don't have Noodler's nibs in them. All of my Noodler's pens don't have Noodler's nibs in them. I've replaced them all because they're so easy to replace and there's just so many options. Uh, so for example, this is a Noodler's Conrad, if not mistaken. Uh, so this is another piston filler. It has a slightly different filling mechanism. It's also interesting. Uh, the knob is here and it's got this little blind cap in the back. Um, this one I fitted with a dip pen nib specifically the Zebra G. Uh, now, there's lots of tutorials on how to do this. I'm not going to show you. But uh, the Zebra G and a number six nib are very similar in length and width. And with just a little bit of tinkering, you can fit it into a Noodler's either Ahab or Conrad. Um, this gives you a really interesting drawing experience. Uh, this pen is really pointy, like a needle point and it gives you a tremendous, tremendous line variation. Now, that leads me to the other advantage of these Noodler's pens. They have ebonite feeds with really good gushing ink flow meant to keep up with flex nibs. Uh, the problem with switching out flexible nibs into regular fountain pens is that their feeds aren't designed to keep up. So because these have traditional ebonite feeds, they keep up with however thick I want to make the lines. So uh, look at tutorials and maybe I'll put a link down for a few people that do this really well. Uh, and there's a bunch of other pens you can do this with, uh, Jin Hao for instance, but they work really really well with the Ahabs, uh, almost no effort at all. Uh, Ahabs or Conrads. What else? Uh, this is a pen whose name I can't remember, it's their smallest pen. Uh, this one also doesn't have a Noodler's nib. It has a vintage nib from this Ingersoll, Ingersoll dollar pen. It's a number two nib. Uh, this is a gold nib, and it has flexibility to it. 
So I can tease out, this might be like a semi-flex nib here. This is one of the smoothest nibs I own. Uh, so this pen was broken, uh, I'm hoping at some point to restore it. Um, but for right now, I'm enjoying the nib in my Noodler's pen that cost me, you know, whatever, $20, 25 maybe. Uh, which leads me to the last pen. Uh, this is their last release. Uh, this giant pen is called the Triple Tail. Uh, this one features an interesting thing, uh, something called a music nib with three tines. Um, you'd think, because of the thickness of the tip, that it would be a medium, a broad, but that's not the case. For some reason, you can get a very thin line, if you want, and then, because you've got three tines, they split open and you can get tremendous, tremendous line variation. So this is a really intriguing pen. Uh, I'd be interested to see what artists do with it. Uh, I've done, I think, pretty good work with this pen. Um, it's really smooth. You can get very, very thin lines. And then if you want, boy, I can go thick. So the line quality here is very, very expressive. So uh, those are the new loose pens. They're inexpensive. They're very sturdy. Uh, I like the fact that they're demonstrators, though they come in a range of colors that are opaque as well. I don't have all of them. There's a few other ones. Uh, the Boston Safety Pen, uh, which also has a music nib. Um, really no disadvantages. Uh, again, not afraid to lose it or throw it in my bag or step on it. Um, I can see how much ink is left. There's tremendous ink capacity. The nibs switch out really easily. Um, I would say the only drawback is that uh, most of these pens, these three anyway, have a pretty strong kind of rotten banana smell at the beginning, which dissipates. This one, though, is made of a different kind of plastic and doesn't. So that's the advantage of the, of the triple tail. So uh, that's my review of the Noodlers. Uh, if you're an artist, I think you should get yourself one of these pens and mess around with it. Um, I think you're going to like it. Thank mm -hmm. you.